Hi, this is going to be a intuitive guided message for my empaths and chosen ones out there, but mainly if you are on a spiritual awakening journey and you are just starting to wake up through the matrix, the message is it's time for you to learn yourself. Empaths, it's time for you to learn who you really are, not what others tell you you are, but who you really are. Are you looking around at your life and realizing that this does not feel right? This does not feel like the life I'm supposed to live. Something just feels off. And this is because of your empathic nature that you have been guided along a path that was not yours. You've been guided along a path that was designed by others. And your guides, your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors are guiding you at this time to learn yourself, learn the essence of who you are, what makes you you, and what makes you truly happy. You are not your things. You are not your possessions. You are not the house you own. Or if you don't own a house, then you may feel like you are not contributing to society through that somehow. Those are matrix things. Those are things that the society has put upon you, telling you this is what you need in order to feel fulfilled. You need a house. You need a college education. You need to be married by a certain age. You need um, these kids, um, a, a certain amount of kids, and your kids must all be successful and thriving and all these things. But no one ever tells you how to really be fulfilled in that or guidepost that, or what if that is not what you want at all? Discover your path. Discover the true core of who you are at this time. At this time, you need to sit more in silence and silence the noise that is around you to really dig down to find out who you are. Look at the people that are closest to you and the lives that they are living. Does your life mirror their life? Does your life reflect what they have going on? But this is not a reflection that you ultimately really wanted. You just kind of ended up that way. For instance, if you have a, um, a group of friends and you all went to the same school and all kind of went in the same field of employment, but at this time in your life, you're waking up to the fact that this is not your journey. This is not what you want. How can you find out the core and essence of who you really are? You're being asked to do that at this time. Sit and journal and write in your journal, what are the top five things that bring me joy and fulfillment? What are the things I love to do that brings me joy and fulfillment? What are the things that if I can help humanity and be paid for it, what could that be? What is my special gift? What is my special talent? A lot of you had special gifts and talents in your childhood that you have suppressed and buried because someone told you that that's never going to make you money. That's never going to be anything and just give up on that. And a lot of you have. And now you're in a path or in a part of your life where you simply feel lost on your journey. And this is because you don't know the essence of who you are and what truly makes you happy and want to awake every day. If you find yourself lost at this time, if you're finding yourself not really sure what next direction to go in, this is a great time for self-discovery. Watch more videos on YouTube about discovering yourself. Pay attention to the guidance that you're being given at this time. Do you notice particular animals? Do you notice particular numbers appearing to you a lot? That is your angels, your ancestors. That is the universe trying to direct you in your ultimate wish, in your ultimate mission, in your ultimate direction. So pay attention to those. Don't obsess about them. But if you notice a particular animal, if you notice a particular number that's constantly apparent to you, it's trying to give you a message to guide you along your path. You cannot get lost in other people's dramas. You cannot get lost in other people's lives and what's going on with them. 
and always consistently giving yourself and giving advice and being drained that you have nothing left and you have absolutely no idea what your purpose is because you've been given so much. Give back to yourself. Silence the noise. Some of you are being asked to go ghost on these people and just go do your thing and find yourself by yourself. Sometimes to find yourself, you have to be by yourself. And if it's something you're like, I can't do that. I have a whole family and I have kids and I have a lot going on. There must be some part in this day or any part of the day where you can take at least 20, 30 minutes to sit by yourself without any noise around you, silence those voices and tune within to find out your purpose, to find out what makes you feel alive and worthy. This is your time. This is your opportunity. It's a beautiful opportunity. It's a beautiful time. Get to know yourself. Get to know what really makes you happy. What did you used to do back when you had none of these adult things to worry about? What did you used to do before you had to live in the survivor mode? What did you used to do before you just became the one that everyone comes to for advice, but doesn't really give it to, but if they do, it's from their own perspective. What, what were you before that? Tune within, find out who you are at your core and become that. Take the steps to that. And the first step is to sit and find time to be alone with your thoughts, with what really truly makes you happy. Go outside and get grounded. Touch the grass, touch the earth and see what downloads did you get? You guys have been drawn to this message, and if you're still listening to this message at this time, your ancestors have a message for you. A lot of you is ancestors that want you to connect with them, your family bloodline that want to help guide you along a certain journey, along a certain path, because you guys have been chosen to help break past wounds, break past curses. And it starts by living the life you want to live. You may be in a family where everyone is just just a, just a pattern in the family. Maybe it's a, a it's um, an addiction. Maybe it's abuse. Perhaps it's mental illness. Perhaps it's anger and a lot of toxicity and narcissism. And every woman in the family never really. Uh, becomes who they want to be and they always live for their husband. Whatever your particular pattern in your family is, you're being asked to break that, to live an authentic, genuine life of how you want to live. And that comes from knowing thyself. Okay, that is the message I have for you guys to stay. Now, if you would like help with learning more about yourself, I would strongly advise you to join my online academy um when it comes to learning yourself on my spiritual awakening journey i found that numerology helped guide me tremendously and knowing the numbers within my chart helped me with understanding the depths of who i am and what really truly brought me joy and it explain my challenges, my weaknesses, and certain particular areas and cycles that I've been in that explained everything amazingly. And it helped guide me along my path to get me to where I feel satisfied. And I know and trust that learning numerology will help you with that too. So if you're interested, I have an online academy for that. It's an online course with video and written lectures and quizzes that are very easy to understand, very easy to digest, and very easy for you to start to know thyself, okay? So if you're interested in that, that's going to be linked below. And thank you for joining me today. My name is Stacy. if I didn't say it, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining my channel. Ciao.